Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, should we have more evidence of God than we do? This is a rare case. The commenter actually bothered to phrase it in the form of a deductive argument. So, let's take a look at the argument as he himself put it. Premise 1. God does not want people to go to hell. Premise 2. People that do not believe in God will go to hell. Conclusion. If God exists, he would make all people aware of his existence. Now, what's wrong with this argument? Well, the first premise seems to be fine. The Bible is pretty clear in Ezekiel 33.11 that God doesn't want evil people to die, but to turn from their evil ways. And several points in the Bible refer to hell in terms of death. It's pretty clear that God doesn't want people going to hell. On the other hand, the second premise isn't quite as obvious. Some people, for example, in comas don't believe in God because their brains don't work that way at the moment, but that doesn't mean they're going to hell. Infants would be another example, or people who've had severe strokes or seizures, or succumb to senility, or even people who've just never heard of the idea of God and would have responded well if they had. The claim that all unbelievers go to hell doesn't seem very strongly supported in any case. Still, the big problem with this argument is that the conclusion of the argument doesn't follow logically from its premises. Even if we take for granted that all unbelievers go to hell, all that follows is that people who don't believe in God experience something that God doesn't want them to. The argument seems to be assuming a third premise. Premise 3. God is necessarily able and willing to get whatever he wants in his dealings with humans. I don't see any reason to think that third premise is true, but even if it were, the conclusion still wouldn't follow from the premises for one key reason. There's a difference between belief and awareness. So the conclusion would be something more like, conclusion, if God exists, he would make all people believe in him. However, that would involve forcing them to believe something that they wouldn't otherwise believe without being forced, and that involves challenging the free will defense that we mentioned last episode. In fact, there are good reasons to think that making everyone aware of his existence would undermine God's plan pretty seriously. To start with, God's goal isn't to merely convince people of his existence, but to obtain their love. Therefore, showy displays of his presence and powers would be counterintuitive in that sense. They would certainly convince more people of God's existence, but especially in this age of Hollywood special effects, I think that very few would love him because of that. Indeed, the immediate knowledge of an ever-present God might make people even less likely to love him. I can easily picture that still developing souls, unready for awareness of God's ever-present nature, would think of him as an intruder, an unwelcome presence, never willing to go away and let us out from under his prying eyes, so to speak. It would be like spending your whole life under a security camera. Of course, people who already love and trust God would probably continue to do so, but for people who didn't, it would be like hell. Lots of people are aware of things that they refuse to believe just because of pride. Belief is often arrived at through a decision, and awareness is just about what data informs that decision. For these reasons, among others, this argument just doesn't work, and we don't have any good reason to think that God should be trying to give us more evidence of his existence. Next, if God is so good, why is there so much suffering? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.